Hey, if this is your first time here, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. So you know what day it is. It's Wine Wednesday. I started the series uh, almost a year ago. No, not a full year. I think I started this in the about May when I knew that Makeup University was seriously shifting and I hadn't found a place to land with it yet and how I still liked blogging, but I had to find a way to make a shift. Thank you, Tori Johnson. And this is how I did it. I started my channel doing Wine Wednesdays. Um, this is where I review a $10 wine, generally purchased from the Walmart because that's what my little town has. And um, this time it's different. This time I have two and uh, choke if you need to because I actually have a white wine that we're gonna talk about because Christmas was very good. I was given a gift basket of wine. I received this also last year. So it's from a company called Wine Country. My mom gets a catalog called Wine Country and it's full of gift baskets. <laughs> last year I got a gift basket, same deal. It's a really nice gift. I don't know the cost, but I'm gonna guess it's in the $50 range, okay? So you get two bottles of wine and then a dozen snacks and like a wine opener, a wine bottle stopper. You get a bunch of things, a bunch of goodies. Last year, I received Barrel Hoop, the Barrel Hoop brand of wine, a red and a white, and I was nuts for it. It was so good. I've never seen it at Total Wine. I haven't seen it at Safeway, at Walmart, you know, where I normally shop. And so I'm wondering if the Barrel Hoop brand is something that is just just sold and distributed through Wine Country, Wine Country Magazine, winecountry.com. So this year, I also received another gift basket. Crazy for it. I love it. But this time it had Brick Lane. Ugh. Uh, so I like to vote with either a thumbs up or a thumbs down because gray area is just gray area. When I had the barrel hoop wine, it was thumbs up all around. I liked both of the wines. Brick Lane, I'm gonna give a thumbs down. I don't like the Brick Lane. I had a Cab Sav from 2017. I also had a Chardonnay 2017. Normally I don't like white wine. I say if you see me drinking white wine, I've been kidnapped. Well, it was a gift and we were having family celebrations. We just needed some wine, so I opened this up. I had it chilled opened it up, poured it out, and our, all of us was like the record scratching. <clears throat> so tart, not tart, like bitter, like, uh. and then the same goes for this also. Uh, Two Buck Chuck is better than this. Uh, Behringer Main and Vine is better than this. And I just felt like it had a very sharp note, sharp finish, like, uh, like if you were gonna drink razor blades, this is what that was like to me and I didn't like it. And so when it comes to Wine Wednesday, I love getting gifts. I love getting wine gifts. I love trying new products. And that's just how it goes. Sometimes you have to try something to know whether you like it or not. I say that from experience because I have a teenager and he is just a fussy eater. When he was a little guy, oh, he'd try everything. But Fussy Teenager looks at it sideways and says, no, I'm not even gonna try it. I'm like, Bootsy, what are you gonna do when you're traveling through Thailand and you see noodles and they have crunchy cricket toppings or like, you know, bug toppings? You have to try it. Cause that, at least you can say you've tried it, you tasted it. So overall, Brick Lane, good luck to you. And um, Wine Country, if you're listening, I really, really, really like that Barrel Hoop brand that you had. That was so good. I would buy a bottle of that if I saw it in my local store. Brick Lane, um, I'm gonna keep on moving. I'm not gonna buy you, I'm not gonna gift you. I'm hoping I never try you again. So going forward on Wine Wednesday, do you have a favorite brand that you try? Is there something that is unique just to your area? I have not been to Wisconsin personally. I have received gift cocktails. It's actually um, a, a fram, framboise, F R-A-M-B-O-I-S-E, Frambois, Frambois, correct me, please help me here. Uh, they make in Wisconsin a cherry beer. 
and it is the best thing I've ever had. You can only get it in Wisconsin. I think there's like one time a year that they send a very small batch out for the world and enjoy. All I know, and I can't even remember the name of it. Oh, please help me. I just know that Wisconsin sells cherry beer and it's life in a bottle. It has a hint of effervescent to it. It is tart, tangy, sweet, frothy, foamy beer, and it's just so good. And it comes in a big bottle too. Um, okay, I wanna get off on a tangent. Wine Wednesday, Brick Lane, I'm voting no. Uh, next week, I'm gonna actually cover the, I say it, Mouton Cadet, <laughs> Mouton Cadet. I'm gonna cover that for you next week. And going forward, I'd love to hear what's your favorite. Is there something, I'm starting to think, even though I wanna complain about the shipping, I'm starting to think I need to do a wine club per month. Uh, I don't want to buy $100 worth of shipped wine to me either. I, I like to get a $10 bottle once a week. So if you know of something or you have a recommendation, let me know. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Hey, everybody. I'm Cheryl Lynn. This is Makeup University. And remember...